In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between connecting to a database with PHP and Node.js and the advantages of one or the other. The code that you see in the screen belongs to PHP. And then I have a simple select statement in which I will get the user's ID, the name, the last name, the email of the user, and that's about it from the user's table. The exact same code will be <coughs> created with Node.js. So once I execute the PHP code, I will get all the users, do a simple check to see if the users exist or not, and then I will reply back with the array on JSON the strings back to the client, making it look like a JSON object. So this is the PHP code. Let's look at the Node.js code. Right here, you can see the advantage of it. Right here, I have a pool of databases, meaning that I will create 10 databases or 10 connections basically to the database as soon as I start the server. And once I have created the connection, I basically run the query against this pool of connections. I select the ID, name, last name, and email from the table users and they are both in the exact same database. The PHP code and the Node.js code connects to the same database. And if there's an error, I check it, or else I return the exact same response back to the client. So as you can see, the PHP code is quite simple, connects to the same database as the Node.js code does. Let's have a look of the request here. <clears throat> this is the PHP API and I will run the get all users. So as you can see, it's a whole new test. I will send the request. And then it took 11 milliseconds to get the users. As you can see in the database, I have the user A and I have the user B. I will do it one more time. Try to remember 11 milliseconds, 27 milliseconds, 12 milliseconds, 7 milliseconds, that was quite fast, and I will do it one more time, 8 milliseconds. So we can see that we got responses from 7 to 27 milliseconds. <clears throat> now we'll run the exact same request with Node.js, a whole new test, the server is already running, so we'll send the request, and in Node.js it takes 5 milliseconds the first time, and then four, 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 five, and one more time, four milliseconds. So just to do it again, I will do it with PHP one more time. 13, seven, five, that was quite fast, 24, 29. So depends on what the computer is doing and how fast the threads are being created, this is an average time I'm getting. And Node.js again, it's always very minimal. And that's because I have this pool of databases. So this is the trick. As soon as I connect, I have these connections created. And in Node.js, I just utilize those connections and then I release the connection back to the pool. So you can make up your mind which of the two programming languages you would like to use and depends on the needs for your application. <clears throat> so thank you for watching the video. I hope it was interesting for you and I will put a link to the GitHub repository with the code I show you down on the video description. Thank you for watching.